Joining us to discuss now is Mike Negg, Secretary of Agriculture for the state of Iowa. Welcome back, Mike. Nice to, nice to see you. Great so to be back with you. So based on what you know about this deal, thank you, how good is it, as the president says, in terms of opening market access from Canada and Mexico for U.S. farmers? Well, when you look at the state of Iowa, for instance, uh, Canada and Mexico are our number one and number two trading partners. So the ability to maintain that zero tariff treatment across those borders and, in fact, expand our opportunities in dairy and poultry and eggs is, uh, is a good news. It's the kind of good news that Iowa farmers have been needing given the downward trend in, in farm incomes and the downward pressure on our commodity and livestock prices over the last several months. So it's exactly the kind of momentum that we need to see. What, so momentum you needed to see if uh, this had failed to come about, uh, what do you think your, your constituents would have been feeling towards President Trump's uh, administration and, and have, has that changed ahead of the midterms with this deal? Well, there, there's certainly, uh, well, uh, there's a lot of uncertainty in, in the ag economy right now, and our farmers and our businesses are, are definitely feeling that. And, you know, right now, when you kind of look at all that's happening with, uh, with NAFTA 2.0 being in question, with the issues with China, uh, with issues around the renewable fuels standard and around the farm bill, that, that just creates this uncertainty that builds into the marketplace. So as we can start to see that momentum, as we can see progress in these things, like uh, NAFTA 2.0 or USMCA. Uh, again, we would like to see that build into agreements with the EU and Japan and, and ultimately uh, get the Chinese to the table and uh, remove these retaliatory tariffs that have had such a negative impact on our markets. Just wondering if, you, if you've gone through the specifics, Mike, because uh, Senator Heitkamp, for instance, of North Dakota has released a statement saying it's good for the wheat growers of her state, but disappointing for cattle ranchers and potato farmers because they weren't addressed. Just wondering about the level of specificity you've gone into and whether it creates this losers and, and winners type situation, which she seems to reference. Well, we're still looking at, at the details, but again, as I, as I understand things as they stand today, uh, related to Iowa producers, Iowa agriculture, I think uh, we're, we're very, we, we view this very positively. And, and again, we would commend the administration for this and, and urge the Congress to do their part now and, and move us forward. So again, details forthcoming, but uh, if we can maintain what we had before with zero tariffs across these borders and see an upside in dairy, eggs, poultry, and even some biotech regulation and some other things, uh, those are all positive things for our, our farmers and businesses. Which uh, nations uh, that you trade with are most important to you in Iowa? Is China well, more important than Mexico and Canada? You know, again, we, you stack up, uh, you know, Canada and Mexico, number one and number two, and then you get into uh, Canada, uh, China and uh, Japan, uh, the EU, South Korea. Those would be our top uh, trading partners today. And uh, we think there's opportunity, obviously, to enhance those existing agreements, but also play offense and look for some additional uh, markets around the world as well. We always ask you this, Mike, but, but the president always mentions farmers. It, it seems yeah. like they're always a top of mind. The politics of the farmers, yes, there's certainty on NAFTA, or, or we should call it USMCA now. But what about the fact that there's lingering uncertainty with the other markets you mentioned, not to mention China, and that could be painful? Are they still politically supportive of the president? Well, you know what? We're going to have to see how that, that plays out. Uh, I, I think most folks would, uh, most farmers and businesses that I visit with in the state of Iowa, they understand what the administration is attempting to do. And as we've talked about before, the issues with China are well known and they've been disruptive to our markets uh, in the past. And so uh, farmers understand that out here. Uh, the retaliatory tariffs are impacting our markets and that, that is a negative. But uh, ultimately, uh, we, we just need to see progress. We need to uh, see some urgency out of the administration to move us forward. So. We'll let the politics play out, but as I've said before, issues that impact the pocketbook will ultimately impact politics. And so, again, we, we just know that we need to be doing the right things here from a market access standpoint for our farmers. Our farmers can produce. In fact, we'll have close to record yields uh, for corn and soybean this year, and, and we just need markets to uh, get those products out the door. Okay, Mike, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, Mike Negg, uh, the Iowa Secretary of Agriculture. We've got an earnings alert on Stitch Fix. Shares moving lower. Courtney Reagan with the numbers. Courtney. Hi there, Sarah. So Stitch 